All right, what's going on guys? Iridium here and welcome to the first official episode of the Road to Radiant series. In the last episode, I started my unrated games to unlock competitive and I just wanted to give you guys a feel for what this series is going to be like. And today in this episode, I'm going to be playing the first two games of my placements. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I am definitely interested to see what rank we start off at. I'm going to guess bronze to silver maybe. I'm going to just select that. Gold plat. Oh, wow. Okay. It's loosely based or... Pretty much, I guess, based off of your unrated MMR, and I guess that's around where I was, which makes sense to me. Yeah, so getting through all 20 unrated games within, like, 20 hours, it was probably the worst experience of my life, to be honest. Um, I did, you know, it's a different story when you're playing with your homies, everyone's vibing, having a great time together, playing some games. But when you're just trying to get through these games to unlock competitive in a very short time to get this video done, it is awful. I, I was trying and trying to win fast, but just things were not working. Teammates were doing weird things and the games were going way too long and I got fed up. And it was honestly one of the worst experiences of my life getting all 20 games done. But we finally unlocked it and, and we're finally here. So my goal is to always try to in-select Jet, one, because she's my main, and two, because I'm playing at a little lower rank than I'm used to, and I know I can pretty much out-aim most people, and I'm trying to just get some quick frags by just running in and just being super aggressive on people, and Jet is definitely a very good agent to do that with. But as of recent, I've been practicing a bunch of different people and just trying to get comfortable with multiple agents, just in case someone does in-select my main or top two or something like that, so I'm comfortable and still able to get frags and do my part. So this first game goes pretty well, I would say. I was definitely vibing with the team no one was arguing with each other we were all doing our part fragging it out and there's some pretty cool moments during this game which i'll try to highlight obviously in this video and overall it was just a great game as you can see by this first pistol round we're dominating oh my gosh to be, to be let's go baby so after that we won the second round third round fourth round fifth round sixth round and the seventh round and then I started having some fun. Got this cool 2K in sewers to finish it off with a 3K outside of B. And then I got another 3K the next round. I'm running it, boys. No! Beautiful trade. Beautiful trade out of nasty. Oh my gosh. Let's go. And then my teammates discovered my true identity and my true purpose. Tell us, be honest. What's your main account? Mine's only diamond three. Oh, I do. This is just for YouTube. YouTube? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say your mic sounded really professional. Yeah. <laughs> what of them? I spotted them. One of the Who did I just kill? What did I just do? The only explanation I have for that kill is that the, the omen was jumping off of the ledge up there somehow. I don't know. It looked so sketchy and aimbody that I just got that kill, but he just jumped into my bullet. And at this point, we were 9-0, and oh, and uh, I was a little scared here that the dream was going to die of, of not dropping around. Yeah, the dream's so alive. But then the flawless dream died next round. Did we start? So we started second half as 11-1, and then this happened. I thought they patched that, I guess not. Yeah, so our early smooth sailing definitely got to our heads, and we proceeded to lose five more rounds. Okay, we got guns this round. Let's go. Honestly, a good chunk of those rounds that we lost could have been prevented if I had stopped peeking top ramp at A so many times. I would just get super overwhelmed because they all just rushed in at A and just owned me. If I would have just played a little safer and more passive, I could have survived and played a late round and got some more frags then. But me dying early definitely contributed to those rounds being lost. More 60, or sorry, up front. So we got our feet back on the floor and ended up getting this round, bringing it to a 12 7 scoreline, and we're now on match point. Let's go. So we actually ended up losing the next round, bringing it to a 12 8, and then our safe runner team got a little, uh, little salty and just kicked us into high gear. Oh, we need one more round, man, Thanks. for God's sake. Let's do it. You guys need to hold A. Hold A. Okay, hold an A. So with Cypher's amazing inspirational pep talk, we ended up winning that round and I won my first placement game on my Road to Radiant account, baby. All right, we did it. We did it. The first game dub could have ended so much earlier, but you know what happens. So as you saw, the first game was more or less a breeze. This next one is a different story. It was pretty rough. And you're going to see some pretty bad stuff coming out of me, boys. I'm just, I'm just going to say it out loud. I'm just saying it here first, putting my faults out there. I got invited to join a party already. You guys probably a chat bane, he's probably toxic. 
Yeah, so often when you're solo queuing or queuing with people, you may get randomly invited to a party by one of your teammates, and that usually means that teammate is chat banned and they are unable to speak or type in the chat. And there is definitely a reason why they were banned. It's most likely because they were toxic, saying some really bad things. People reported them for yelling at them or being very vulgar or aggressive towards them or whatever. I always just never join because like we said, they're banned for a reason. It doesn't matter what kind of voice chat they're in. They're going to be toxic just because that's the person they are it sucks but you gotta just avoid it and sadly throughout this game the phoenix is a pretty good player and we missed out a lot of good comps from him but it's okay my other teammates were coming and that made up for it oh my gosh all right i think we should try to send like two and max it through hookah if we're going to be it just gets way too crowded so after that first round, I could tell this one was going to be a doozy. Just the vibe everyone was giving off and just the guy being chat banned and then like everyone going into hookah, which is something I'd like to point out again, even though I just said it in the game. If you're going to be going B, try not to send too many people through hookah. It is a very crowded space, so you're going to need uh, at most two in there. Uh, that's about it. Send three long, maybe even one lurking on A. You can play a 2-2-1 two, two, setup. The one goes to the teleporter, comes in late, hookah, whatever. Just try not to crowd too many in hookah. You're just going to get naded by a raise or mollied by a brim or a phoenix or something like that. And it'll just help you out so much more in the long run if you don't do that. I got to just take up an IGL roll, I guess. I don't really know what to say though. You can honestly just hear it in my voice how unmotivated I was. That's probably what played into me sucking and not doing as well as I thought I could. I just was not in my head. And I wasn't focused and I wasn't really wanting to get that win, which is something I've actually been working on lately. If you guys are not doing very good in games or not winning many games, just try to just see what your mentality is like when you're in game. Do you like really want to win? Are you focused on everything that's going on around you in the game? Everything that you're doing, everything your teammates are doing, everything the enemies are doing. That's what's going to separate you from the rest is just focusing on all that. And that's what's going to help you start carrying and be that team player as well. I just had a very hard time just getting my feet going and starting to get a flow going. But this round definitely was a helper in that, getting some confidence back with that nice little D shot you saw in the beginning. And then this nice double op at the end to get the 3k. One enemy remaining. Looks like I was the strongest Good job, guys. Good job. There we go. We got a little flow going. So rounds went back and forth slightly for a while, but we saw the other team slightly start to pull away. But my faith was still up there because we are in attack and it is definitely harder to start attacking on bind. But if you do get a good amount of rounds off that attack side, your momentum going into the defending side is so great. Let's make sure we get by next. This is gonna this is a rough one, boys. We I mean honestly we're on attack, so if we can get like five, that'll be fun. We need comms, we need comms, we need to know what's going on. I need to I think I just need a phantom. You hear me say I need to start phantom. That's because I usually try to op when I'm on bind, at least like because I usually play a long B. Like I said at the beginning of the video though, this is still a lower rank that I'm used to playing, so I'm gonna try to use that to my advantage and be a little bit more aggressive and just try to out aim people. People, but it just wasn't having it this game so i just thought i should try to get a phantom run in and try to get a couple more kills and be more aggressive should have dashed still elbow but getting aggressive, especially at a lower rank when you're a little bit more confident, can be kind of dangerous sometimes because you can definitely get careless like I start getting this game, especially on top of me not being that motivated to win after just feeling super tired and not feeling like I can get a flow going. I definitely started just running in and dying unnecessarily when I could use my expertise somewhere else and actually be valuable to the team. Okay, what a half there. Yes, yeah, so it was a rough half going nine to three, but like I said earlier, we were on attack, so you never know what could happen on defending side. My play, as always, when I'm playing Jet on Bind, is usually just to play B, hold long with an AWP or a Vandal or something like that, and just kind of play aggressive at the beginning of the round, fall back during mid round, and then retake if needed, or defend the site if they start coming late round. One More hookah, last guy hookah. Or sorry, you all. So as quickly as the other team started to pull away, the quicker I got sloppier and sloppier round after round. And it was getting pretty frustrating. Give me a break, give me a break, dude. Give me a break. I dashed into it. We did end up grabbing that round though, and the confidence was still there to win because the game is never over until it's over. I've came back from the biggest of deficits, so you can always believe. Okay, come back, baby.
And honestly, just keeping that mentality that you can always win, there's always a way to come back from a big deficit. It definitely will boost your confidence in rounds because this round, I actually popped off with a sweet ace because of that. It was eco frags, but still, it lifts up your spirits. It gets your mind and your momentum going again. And it can help dig you out of that rut that you sometimes can dig yourself into when you're starting to lose a lot of rounds or not play as great as you can usually play. But unfortunately, a site was a little bit hard to hold for my teammates, not blaming it on them at all, but it definitely led to some unfortunate retakes because numbers are very powerful if the opponents know how to play with them. And by numbers, I mean they have more people alive. So with that being said, we actually did end up losing this game 13 to 7. There might be one more there. Strategy swell rip. Just goes to show no matter how skilled you are, you can always get those losses in any rank. Because I definitely had that ego going in that I, you know, I'm a little bit higher ranked and that I'm just gonna breeze through these placements. It's not gonna be a big deal. And like I said, it doesn't matter what rank it is, you can always learn something from any game. So that's gonna conclude the first episode of the Road to Radiance series, guys. We did the first two placements today went one and one we're gonna try to win the rest of them i believe so i hope you guys are excited for that make sure to let me know in the comments below what you think of the series so far and if you have any ideas or suggestions that you'd like to see in the series make sure to leave a like if you guys did enjoy and hit the subscribe button if you're not already it's just below the video definitely make sure to also head over to my twitch channel twitch.tv slash iridium where i stream every day except for wednesdays and sundays i play over on my main on that account or i'm grinding to radiant as well i guess that's always the end goal but we're close to climbing into immortal right now which is the next goal so make sure to head over there let me know you came from youtube and i'll see you guys there so with that being said i will see you guys in friday's video thank you so much for watching today and on that note ta-ta for now